adverse reactions to vaccine administration. Disclaimer, when administering intramuscular medication of any kind, always follow CDC, public health, and local site guidelines and policies. Immunizations play an important role in health maintenance. As part of primary prevention, immunizations can prevent certain diseases, including pneumococcal pneumonia, influenza, tetanus, and others. We now have the COVID vaccine, which aims to protect individuals from novel coronavirus. These vaccines are studied and researched to ensure the best possible outcomes for patients. However, as with any medication administration, reactions may occur. Since the COVID vaccination is so prevalent in today's world, the purpose of this video is to prepare you on how to handle some of the most common reactions associated with vaccine administration. Our first scenario will focus on mild reactions, while our second scenario will delve into anaphylactic reactions, especially those of the cutaneous, respiratory, and cardiovascular variety. Let's get started. Scenario 1. Mild Reactions The following video will demonstrate common nursing care associated with mild reactions to IM vaccination injections. Please note that mild vaccine reactions may occur after the 15 to 30 minute post-injection time period. Therefore, patient education is vital to ensure their safety. There are many possible mild reactions a patient can display after vaccine administration. While subtle, they're crucial for you to recognize. These reactions include pain at the injection site, malaise, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, fever, injection site swelling, injection site redness, and tachycardia. When mild reactions occur, be sure to do the following. Assess your patient for any signs and symptoms of vaccine reactions. Obtain vital signs if a reaction is suspected. Notify the on-site clinician or primary healthcare provider. Be ready to receive medication orders as recommended by the ordering clinician. If post-injection medication is needed, instruct the patient to consult their primary healthcare provider. Educating the patient is key. Explain that while side effects may feel like the flu and even affect their ability to perform daily activities, these symptoms should subside in a few days. If symptoms persist, instruct the patient to call their medical provider. To reduce discomfort from fever, educate the patient to drink plenty of fluids, dress lightly, and refer to their primary physician for any necessary medications or pain relievers. To reduce pain and discomfort at the injection site, show and educate the patient how to apply an ice pack or a clean, cool, and wet washcloth over the area. Instruct them on how to use or exercise their arm. Scenario 2. Anaphylactic Reaction In some cases, patients develop a severe reaction to vaccinations. Again, while these usually occur within the post-injection monitoring period, they may occur afterwards. When a severe reaction does occur, immediate nursing intervention is required to keep your patient safe. These reactions can vary across a spectrum of categories, including respiratory, cardiovascular, and cutaneous. Cutaneous reactions. The primary cutaneous reactions are urticaria, angioedema, pruritus, and erythema. Respiratory reactions. The main respiratory reactions include <coughs> coughing, <coughs> wheezing, dyspnea, and a feeling of a lump in their throat cardiovascular reactions. The main cardiovascular reactions include hypotension, tachycardia, and palpitations. When these reactions occur, immediately assess the patient by doing the following. Examine the patient's general appearance. Inspect the patient's airway. Auscultate the patient's lung sounds. Check the patient's localized and systemic skin status. First, check the upper arm area where the injection was given. 
Then, if redness is visible, check the chest area and body to see if the reaction has spread. Finally, obtain the patient's vital signs. Following your assessment, notify the patient's healthcare provider for further instructions. If possible, save the vaccination vial and syringe for follow-up tracking and investigation. In the case of severe allergic reactions, you may need to contact 911 for additional support in order to transfer the patient to a higher level of care facility. Report severe adverse reactions to the FDA CDC Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System VAERS. The vast majority of vaccine administrations have been well received by patients who have displayed minimal to zero reactions. I started learning about COVID-19 vaccinations when they first came out. I did not know that I would be able to give them as a student and when the opportunity was presented to me, I was ecstatic. I feel very prepared at the vaccine clinics to do my job, give them the vaccinations, and make sure that they feel safe and educated when I'm doing that. Education helps you know what you're doing, practice. Practice makes perfect with the skills lab and having patients and they're being willing to let you practice on them. It just makes it so much easier when you have even two or three injections under your belt. It's, it's night and day. Thanks for watching.